In my personal opinion, nothing epitomizes college football more than an SEC game on a Saturday night in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, especially when we narrow it down to two nationally ranked teams going at it. And that's exactly the situation that's going to occur Saturday, occur, excuse me, Saturday night when LSU entertains Ole Miss, a pair of nationally ranked teams. And uh, a 7.30 p.m. Eastern time kickoff in Baton Rouge. So that game obviously will be played under the lights and fits the category of that uh, epitome of what college football is all about, in my opinion, anyway. Ole Miss right now is a a three-and-a-half-point favorite. But before I get to my free pick and analysis on that game, just a couple friendly reminders, folks. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, not exactly sure what you're waiting for because it's 100% free. There's no strings attached. Just hit that subscribe button below and you're all set to go. Except for the fact, provide yourself a nice convenience after you subscribe and click on your alert notification bells to uh, Wager Talk TV and your YouTube settings. And you'll be notified immediately upon any of our great content going up on our great channel. In addition, you'll see a like button below. That's for me. If you would kindly just hit that like button, it goes a long way in showing your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put into bringing you a quality free pick video, not only every day, but every week. And uh, again, I mentioned this on earlier uh, videos, but it's worth mentioning it again, folks. Last three weeks in the NFL, 11-1 and one with my NFL free pick videos right here on Wager Talk TV. Uh, don't want to star my forehead, but... It certainly would go a long way if you just give me a like. I mean, I'm supposed to win. That's what I do for a living, right? 11 and 1 is pretty good. Hit that like button, folks. Anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. Ole Miss at LSU. Uh, both of these teams have plenty of offensive firepower. There's no question in that. But Ole Miss, uh, their defense, uh, to me, is going to be a major factor in the outcome of this game. Ole Miss is 5 and 1. And they allow just 7.5 points per game and three, a little over 300 yards of total offense per contest. And that's really good considering uh, the level of competition they face in the SEC. Uh, they've just dominated opponents. I mean, they did get upset in their one game uh, at home against Kentucky, 20 to 17, but they're still five and one. Uh, they're a top 10 caliber team. And uh, in those six games, they outscored opponents by 36.5 points per game and outgained them by 307 yards per contest. That's domination, folks. Uh, since 2020, you might be surprised to know, Ole Miss has gone 8-0-1 against the spread as a road favorite of two or more. And considering they play in the SEC, uh, that's pretty impressive. And uh, in those nine games in which they were a road favorite of two or more, uh, and they went 8-0-1 against the spread. They won those games by an average of 21.5 points per game. So not only covering and winning those games, but doing so in a decisive manner. LSU, on the other hand, they're 4-0 since their opening loss, uh, open season opening loss, 27-20 to uh, against USC. Uh, they, but, you know, another thing is they just got by uh, at South Carolina earlier this season, winning by just three. And ironically enough, Ole Miss just played South Carolina last week on the road, and the Rebels crushed them 27-3 to in a game that was never close from start to finish. And uh, the uh, Rebels dominated them in yardage, dominated them territorially, and dominated them physically. So if you're one of those guys that uh, likes to use comparisons, uh, and when teams face similar opponents, uh, that certainly is a textbook example as such. I'm going to go with Ole Miss here on the road. It's very rare that you see LSU as a home underdog, and even more rare if they're a home underdog and they're nationally ranked. But that's the case here. And not only are they an underdog, they're an underdog by a little more than a, over a field goal. So I'm going to take Ole Miss here. Minus three and a half over LSU on Saturday evening, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time kickoff. And that game is nationally televised. All right. Uh, a couple more things to fill, fill in the blanks here. My college football folks just been on fire 
Um, since December the 3rd of 2022, my college football premium picks uh, are, let's see here, we got it right here, um, 104 and 69, 60%. And that's good for a net profit over $9,000. And during that course of time, unequivocally the number one money earner at Wager Talk when it comes to college football. Also number one in money earned since the start of last college football season. Uh, so, and currently number two in college football and number one over the last 30 days this season. Uh, so a lot to like about my college football premium picks. Also, I will have a four, I have a 4% top play up for Saturday right now in the Vanderbilt and Kentucky game. You can get that just for $25. Why should you purchase that? Well, I just gave you reasons why. And then I'll go one step further. My college football 4% top plays have gone 10 and 0 with my last 10. And we're about to make it 11 and 0. So take advantage of, uh, of that uh, offer. $25 will get you my 4% college football top play, Vanderbilt and Kentucky. Uh, my 5% top plays in all sports, 27 and 13. That's the highest rated we can go. We only get to use six of those a month. And uh, I've been very selective when doing so. Again, 27 and 13 since February the 3rd. That's good for 68%, folks, and net profit of $6,340. Uh, I will have a 5% top play in the NFL on Sunday. And lastly, uh, all sports run right now since September the 29th, about 17 and 5 and a net profit of $3,800. And fifty-six dollars during that course of time. So red hot in all sports, red hot in college football, the NFL. The last two Sundays, uh, I am a combined five one and one. So a lot of good things going on uh, right now at Wager Talk for yours truly, Ross Benjamin. You can uh, find me my, at my direct link wt.buzz/rb wt.buzz/rb. Also, folks, take advantage of a special offer right now. Uh, our 30 day all access pass for any one of us, which includes all sports for 30 days, is normally $299. Well, it's still $299, but what Wager Talk is doing is for an additional $99, they will throw in another 30 days to that package. So you can get a 60 day package all access for just $398, folks. And that amounts to exactly $6.63 per day. So take advantage of that offer. And I'm a little biased. To, uh, take advantage of that offer for me. I just gave you all the data, how well I'm doing. I don't know why you wouldn't take advantage of that. Uh, again, wt.buzz slash RB. That link is right below. And uh, my NFL and college football combined all access package right now that will take you through the Super Bowl, $629. And if you like what you heard with my college football and how good I've done over the last uh, two plus seasons now, um, you can get a college football annual package for myself for $389, which will take you through the duration of the college football uh, championship game. So all of that right at my personal site, wt.buzz/rb. Folks, don't forget to give me a like. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until the next time, which will be shortly when I will be covering uh, the last game I'm covering today is the Arizona Wildcats and the BYU Cougars. So stay tuned for that. Until the next time, take care and God bless, folks.